the doctrine of the Holy Trinity is a mystery. A mystery is unlike a puzzle. A puzzle can be resolved logically. A mystery can only be embraced and experienced. This is the reason why many Catholics, although they profess their faith in the Holy Trinity, many of them could not make sense of it. And they do not know how to relate to the Holy Trinity. Sad to say, for many, it has become an empty doctrine. We have lost the experience of what this doctrine is trying to mediate. Indeed, in the rite of Christian initiation of adults, it is called initiation. It is not a catechism course where we explain everything about the faith. The RCIA is not a theological discourse about God and the mysteries of faith. Of course, it includes some information about God, about our faith. But the RCIA primarily is to initiate someone into an experience of the Trinitarian God. It is to introduce someone to God. The RCAA is not complete unless someone has truly experienced this Trinitarian God as Father, Son, and Spirit in his life. Otherwise, the Trinity remains a mere concept, not a living reality. So it's important for us in order to understand the doctrine of the Trinity, it cannot be through an intellectual discourse, reasoning. It must be through an experience. How do we experience the Holy Trinity in our life? How do we relate with the Trinity? When you feel the immensity of life, of creation, when you feel that life is such a great mystery, who do you identify this with? The Father. Because the Father is pure spirit. The Father cannot be seen, but we know the Father is the creator. So the Father, therefore, we identify when we need to pray for our needs, when we need to identify the immensity of creation, the wonderful, marvelous works and mysteries of life that we talk to the Father. If you see a beautiful sunset, you say, Oh my God. That is to say, Oh my Father, how beautiful are the works that you have done. But when you are sad, when you are sorrowful, when life is tough, who do you speak to? Who, whom do you identify with? Jesus. Because Jesus was a man. Oh, he's a man like us. He has gone through all the struggles, all the sufferings in life. He has carried the cross. He has gone through temptations like us. So whenever we are going through difficulties, we need consolation, we need strength, then we pray to Jesus. We ask Jesus, help me. You are my model. You are my strength. You are my consoler. Just as you help others, help me. Send me your Holy Spirit to give me strength, to give me courage, to know that death is not the end of everything. So, this is when we speak to Jesus. But there are times, you know, when we want to express joy, we are looking for peace, for love, for unity. These are intangible gifts, charisms, for example, for ministry, for work, the gift of speaking, the gift of teaching, all these are intangible gifts. Of course, we talk to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is intangible. That's why the Holy Spirit is the one who gives us the gifts. The gifts of preaching, the gifts of love, peace, unity, joy, tranquility, and all these things. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us this. So, you know, my dear brothers and sisters, 
depending on the situation, you relate to the three persons of God. In one God, it's the same God. But God reveals himself in a Trinitarian way so that we can truly, truly relate with him according to the different needs and dimensions of our life. But that is not all. The Trinity is also a model, a way of life. Because the Trinity, they are three persons distinct, but one in being, one in substance, one in divinity. And so we too, we are all social beings and also individuals. But these two have this interplay. How do we be happy in life? We cannot be happy by ourselves. To be happy, we have to make sure that others around us are happy. If not, these people will steal away our happiness. It's like this COVID-19, you know. The only way to keep yourself safe from pandemic is to make sure that nobody else has that COVID-19. Don't think we can ignore the migrants, the refugees, the poor. Oh, we don't have to attend to them. We just attend to ourselves because we are rich, we got money. You can't protect yourself unless you protect others. In the same way too, we are all different and yet we are all one. And that is where we come together to contribute our talents together to build a community. There should be no envy, no competition, but always complementing one another. After all, if you believe in the Holy Trinity, it means to say we believe that we are all sons and daughters of God.